What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. My name is Aaliyah J, and today I'm gonna be turning myself into a cow. OMG, I found this look on Instagram and it was created and inspired by an artist on Instagram named Juno Birch. And I am going to be recreating her look and adding my own twist to it. So let's get started. So first things first, I am going to dance a little bit just because it's going to fill my energy and make me a little more happy. <laughs> and I am going to protect my edges. I'm using this headband. I don't even know where I got it from. Just like, don't even mind it. It's a mess. But I'm using this little scarf headband thing to protect my baby hairs and my wig. So I'm going to go in with Elmer School Glue and I am going to cover my eyebrows. So we're going to be covering our eyebrows uh, fully, completely. Um, I did this in my last tutorial and I used lace glue and that worked really, really well. It was just kind of hard to get the lace glue out and I just did not feel like dealing with that today just because it was really late and I was kind of tired. So I'm using the school glue. It's just like easy to wash out. And I'm using a baby hair brush to brush my uh, eyebrow hairs up and then I'm flattening it with my finger. And I'm doing this on both brows, of course. So I'm gonna let that dry down and I'm letting it air dry. And then I'm going to take a powder puff and I'm gonna take some air spun powder. Um, all of the products that I use are gonna be listed down below. Um, but I'm gonna take that air spun powder and I'm just going to pat that into my brows. And usually a lot of people like to do like two layers of glue and two layers of powder but truthfully i'm not that good at this process i do it to what i like and what i feel like is appropriate for the look or my face so i only did one layer so i'm gonna take that same powder and powder puff and i am going to powder my face um i did this because i had just washed my face and put uh, moisturizer on it so it was super duper like oily and we're gonna be painting our face today so i just wanted the paint to adhere to something being that the paint is water-based so now I'm moving on to the paint and I'm using the Paradise Paint by Meron. And this is a water activated paint. These are my favorite paints to use for Halloween. Um, this is the color white and I'm just using a foundation brush. So my brush is saturated with some water and I'm just going to go in and swirl it around and I am going to apply it on my face. I like to use water activated paint because I don't know I just feel like the cream sometimes is just so messy and it's so hard to draw on the water activated it dries down where you can draw on top of it and do whatever you want when it's cream it is just like so creamy and so all over the place like I honestly hate cream products like if you really notice then watch my videos I don't use any type of cream blush. I don't use cream foundation. I don't use cream concealer. The only thing I really use is cream contour and that's it. But other than that, I don't use anything cream. Um, it just doesn't work for me, even though I have dry skin, but for some reason it doesn't work for me. But I am covering my entire face with this uh, paradise paint and I am doing multiple layers because as you can see, it is not blending well. Um, so I've used these paint before. Um, on a red look that I did and it blended really well but I think because this look is white and I'm black that it just like you could just see it not blending so I had to put a couple of layers and I bring it all the way down to my neck but I did not bring it all the way up to my uh my forehead on my forehead because I'm gonna be wearing a hat and I felt like why would I bring it all the way to my forehead and mess up my wig when you know i'm gonna be wearing a hat so now i'm taking a eyeliner brush and i am figuring out where i want to put the dark circles for you know me to turn into a cow i'm taking the paradise paint in the color black so this is also water activated and i am just literally drawing blobs on my face like the best part about this tutorial is that it's just blobs like it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be a certain shape literally you just draw like an uneven circle all over your face like literally so i draw i started to draw one over my eye um 
and honestly when i started to do it i was doing too many like like squiggles as you can see like bumps or whatever you want to call it so it was a little bit too much it didn't look like a cow print at that point so i had to straighten out some of those bumps and humps whatever that would make it a cow print i had to make those a little more straight just so that it didn't look like it was doing too much it started to look like a cloud a little bit so i just had to make it a little more put together if you understand so this is me just kind of connecting those lines because i wasn't I, I didn't like that and yeah i knew for sure i wanted a cow print around my eyes so i did that one first and then after that i kind of just put them in random places just because cows don't have a specific place of where they are they're literally just all over the place um and now that i think about it cow print is such a beautiful print like wow like there's actually an animal there's several animals that have these amazing prints like i i don't know i just think that's so beautiful <laughs> um but yeah this is me just putting them literally in random places like literally um and i did have to go back and fix a few just because they was not looking like cow prints they was looking crazy so i stopped doing the cow prints on one side and i decided to do my eyeshadow and i just did a cut crease and i made this blue and for some odd reason i'm not sure why we as humans associate blue and red with a cow it's kind of weird but i don't know the blue eyeshadow look with this uh with this cow print makeup halloween look looks amazing so i just decided to do that and you know i knew i was gonna have on a pink hat so i thought the little you know soft blues with a cut crease would be perfect to bring some color to it so now i'm back to doing my cow prints and i'm literally just gonna fill that in with that paradise paint i had to go back over that a few times as well just because um, the paint is black and I already had white paint on so it was making gray So I had to go back over that a few times just to make sure it was all the way black and not mixing So I thought this look would look really, really, really good with a winged eyeliner. So I took the darkest, darkest eyeliner I could find and created a super duper sharp wing. Um, I love this look with a wing. I felt like it was like super glam. And that's my thing. I wanted this look to be glam. And this is the part when I started to realize that I might just need an eyebrow. I could have kept my eyebrows on for all of that. But I felt like my face looked too circle and I it was kind of like just missing in the middle. So I decided to take that black paint that I was using and just make a really, really, really bold brow to fit all the little bold uh, cow print spots. And I just filled that in just like normal. But I, could, I definitely could have kept my brow for sure. I did not have to cover it. I thought I didn't need a brow, but looks like I did. So now I'm taking some pink powder. You can use a blush or an eyeshadow, and I am going to put this at the tip of my nose. Um, I'm putting this at the tip of my nose because this is going to bring some color to our look and define our nose. Um, it was actually really hard for my camera to kind of like see who I am and identify my face, so I kept getting blurry. Um, and I decided to use that same powder, pink powder, which was a blush, for my lips and i wanted to give myself a colored lip like i said it's going to define our face and make it a little more glam but i ended up not liking this lip color that matched my nose um i felt like it was just too much and it just did not look right at all as you can see like it did not look right whatsoever so I decided to take off that lip color that I was wearing, including the paint that I had put down. It just was not looking right. And I was trying to figure out what color should I wear? Should I wear red? Should I put on blue? Like what should I put on? And it made sense to me to just do a natural lip color. Um, I, once I took the white off, I seen my natural lip color and it was perfect. So I went through my little makeup kit and I decided to find a lip liner that mimicked my exact natural lip color. And I found one, I believe it's by Milani, but if I'm not 100%, I'll link it down below. Um, but this lip color was so much better than the other one. I don't know why it was better. 
I feel like maybe this is how the color of cow's lips. They're definitely not pink. So I don't know what the hell made me put pink. But this is absolutely the color of cow's lips. It has to be. <laughs> but yeah, this went so much better. Um, and I just put on a hat and straightened my hair. And that is how I got this look. And I also put on a turtleneck just because the rest of my chest was not painted. And I put on a black blazer. And this is how I got the full look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup video for Halloween. This is super easy to achieve at home. And I hope you guys love it so much. If you decide to recreate, make sure you guys tag me and your looks. Because I love to see you guys recreate my looks. And I love you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.